What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Rob's RC Insanity. We are going to give Project Success another go. I'm going to take it easy on her. We're still trying to work all the bugs out. I know this is a lot of a lot of pressure for this little chassis. It wasn't really designed for this, but uh, we give her a go anyway. Because that's what I do. Let's see what happens. This is rear wheel drive. I'm waiting on a piece for the front. I busted the front uh, bevel gear. I only had two teeth left on it. I completely stripped that bad boy out. I tell you, just to be on two wheel drive, this is uh, this thing's cruising. Easy, easy on the turns. Ooh. Oh, oh, saved it. All right. She flips easy. She's a little top heavy. This is like a short force truck. So, so with maybe the uh, tires are <laughs> maybe a tad bit bigger than what you get on most short force trucks. These tires are off of my uh, Team Corrali Moxu uh, XP. And they seem to be doing wonderful. Doing good. Oh. Oh, oh, big crash. Man, this yard is a mess. We've had snow and rain and I've got my work truck stuck back here a couple different times. It's just a mess. Good for RC in that. Let's try it again. There we go. Ah, turn it over again. Dang it. You got in a rut over here. As you can see, it is a mess. Everybody's got stuck. Ah. She's moving. Been battery. I didn't charge them from the last time I ran it, so that might have been battery. 
get her up here. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, that was low voltage. She's moving though. She is moving. No doubt about it. She is moving. Let's get it back to the bench. I'm gonna check it out. I'll show you what I've got in it. This is a wicked little buggy, man. I think I've got most of the gremlins worked out. That has been the most successful run so far. Let's pull these pins out. I'll show you what we got under the hood here. Second, brought these oversized pins because they're staying better. The hinged back here, the original wing. All right, I've got the uh, get all this grass out of here. God, it's not good for the fan. All right, I've got this hundred and who the mud. Got this 150 amp ESC. I am running the Dumbo RC X6F. Um, I am running a Queen's Hobby 4700 kV motor. I do have a fan hooked up on it. it does get warm, but uh, man, three second tests. Even just that running like that, that was I was blipping her a lot, and it still feels pretty good. It's not warm. ESC's not warm. Batteries feel good. And these are just 2200 milliamp batteries, so. I'm not surprised they died that quick. Uh, like I said, I didn't charge them after the last little, after the last little outing, even though it was a quick outing, it was still a couple minutes, so that doesn't surprise me at all. I put the power switch right down here, right inside this uh, outside battery. Um, looks like my, motor connections are coming loose just a little bit hang on just a second here you can probably see that right there these are uh, working loose on me just a little bit I might have to throw another zip tie on there just to kind of hold all that together but uh, I did not put the cover back over the spur and the pinion yet because uh, well for one I cut the bottom of the casing so I could slide the motor in and out without having to take it completely apart. Just because I was having so many issues with the uh, pinion gear, which uh, good thing and a bad thing, I guess. Uh, I do run this. Uh, I do run this Marvel uh, Air Tool oil. Um, about every time I take them out, I give everything a good soak. Just so it's not running dry. Um, I took these uh, body mounts. I cannot remember which RC I took them off of. Maybe. Yeah, I pulled them off of the uh, Hosom 9125 truck zip tied them to the uh, shock tower and it works beautiful as you can see you pull this down they pop right in place gives her that nice pretty short course look uh, 
everything seems to be working great right now. Uh, keep my fingers crossed. I used the back two holes in my wing to make my flip top with a couple zip ties. Of course, use the lime green, give it a little blinky bling bling. But uh, nothing's rubbing, the body's not rubbing. She's, uh, like I said, to be two wheel drive, she's running great. She's handling good, she's jumping good, floating over everything. And as far as we were talking about these uh, steering turnbuckles coming loose, what I did, let me see if I can get in here where you can get a good look at it. I'm getting the light to come on here. Come on, light. Come on for me. I don't think my light's gonna come on for me. Not right now. Here she goes. All right, so what I did was, I don't know if you can see right here. Right around this steering bracket right here, I ran a zip tie, a small zip tie. Up underneath, steering turnbuckle, up through that hole right there. Ran it around the head of that, tied it in. Did the same thing on this side. There we go, get that to focus. Same thing on this side. And then over here, on this outside edge, I went from the A-arm to the steering knuckle, threw another zip tie on that, and on this side. Doesn't affect the steering any at all, but it keeps enough tension on them to where they're not popping off every time you hit a bump. And so far, as you saw just now, you know, we had some rollovers, we hit a couple little jumps, and it held together. And that's the first time it's actually held together without me losing one. So, that seems to be working pretty good. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm excited to get my uh, front diff back together. I, I would like this to be four-wheel drive. But like I said, even as a uh, two-wheel drive buggy, I'm very pleased with it. It's working really good. So I hope you all enjoyed that. That is the 104001 short course truck 6S build um, with the FIU fighter on it, the FY01. Um, it's working great. So... I appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I will catch you in the next one. We've got more to come with this guy.